Michael Gelkin from the Dallas Morning News has a little bit more detail on the Zeke contract restructure in effect. This ruined my day, by the way. This ruined the entire weekend. Right here? Yep, ruined the whole weekend. Okay. In effect, I'll read it, you translate. The Cowboys gave themselves more financial flexibility this year with cap savings. All right? But the real driving force was the $5 million net gain in 2022 cap room that will be generated if the full $7 million is carried over in the next year. Zeke already was assured a place on the Cowboys' 2022 roster. His $12.5 million salary is fully guaranteed. This move further financially ties the team to Zeke beyond that. Let me say that again. This move further financially ties the team to Zeke beyond 2022. Parting ways in 2023 would result in an extra $5 million penalty in dead money versus the cap. Right. So parting ways in 2023 would mean essentially there is no cap gain from moving on from him. In in the past, you know, pri- uh, prior to this move, you know, it was about a a six or so million dollar difference between the cap hit and the dead cap. So theoretically, you could you could cut him after twenty twenty two, and save about five million on your cap. You would have eleven million in cat dead cap, but you would save about five six million. What this does is it means that it is a wash. There is no cap savings. So it makes no sense to move on from him that year. So as a year, did Fish get this wrong? Um, I don't know that he got it wrong because they still theoretically do have that out. They could. It's not going to kill him. Yeah, they're not going to lose money on the cap by moving on from him. But there's no cap gain. Okay. It stinks because <laughs> I mean now you're going to have a 16 million dollar a year running back. In 2023. I think I'll leave it the way it is, Sean. Thank you. <laughs> and he's 26 years old right now. Right. So, so you know, he'll be, he'll be 28, 29, push it 29. Ugh. Uh, you know, that that's just not good for running back. The, 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 I know a lot of fans can't get past the idea of, well, you need a great player at the position. But, but you don't. You need great value at the position. The position matters. The player doesn't. And that's just the, that's the stark reality of running backs in 2021. Um, look, look around, you know. Yes, Derrick Henry, wonderful, great. You know, Nick Chubb's great value, but those guys aren't going to. If they do see the end of the contract, that's bad for the team. It's like when you buy. You know, a lot of people buy a car. If you if you buy, you can buy a car. I can buy a car tomorrow for 72 months on the loan. I'm a moron if I stay the whole 72 months. Mm. In a related story. I'm on my 66th month of my current car payment, so <laughs> I am a moron. Um, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah. If, if you stay the entire time, you're paying more, and it, it's not worth it. Get out of it early. Yeah. Uh, and that's the same thing with a running back.